Hello and welcome to this tutorial for creating a simple pendulum in Momdyne. I'll uh, add the link to this tutorial text in the comments and I will be naming off steps as I go along. So step one is to create our model. We're going to call this model pendulum. And we're going to give it the description of a simple pendulum. with a point mass and single angular degree of freedom. Okay, we're gonna add gravity to this model using the uniform gravity method with the constant 9.8 and in the minus y direction of the inertial frame. We're gonna set the duration to five seconds so that we can see a little bit more of the dynamics and decrease our tolerance, which will simply smooth out the animation a little bit by doing smaller step sizes. We can hit OK there, which gives us our, our blank diagram here. And before we go any further, what I'm going to do is save the model. That will allow us to come back to this first step later on. Uh, we're going to be using two different approaches uh, for creating the kinematics of this model. So first of all, we're going to show the classic approach. So go now to step 2a, where the a designates that we're using the classic procedure, and we're going to create a constant parameter. Give this the name L and the value 1, and this will be the length of our pendulum bob. Hit the check mark, which will create that parameter, and then the next thing we will do is create our angular degree of freedom. So as I type this in, I will put a backslash and then enter the word theta, and we can see that that get, gets replaced with the Unicode character for theta, similar to a uh, LaTeX interpreter. So I'm going to give this the description of angle. This is step 3a, by the way, forgot to mention. And then hit the check, and that will create that generalized coordinate. Next is step 4a. So I will go into the frame dialog, and we are going to define a frame with the angle theta. Okay. That will create a new frame named E with the unit vectors E sub X and E sub Y. And then I will we'll create a vector, which I'll name R. And in the E frame that we just created, that will have a measurement of L or the length constant that we defined earlier. Hit the check for OK. That will create the vector. That was step 5A. And then step 6A will be to create a point. So this point will be placed at the end of that vector. So we'll select that vector R, hit the check button. And now we can see that we have defined the purple frame with the unit vectors E sub X, E sub Y, the vector R in gray, and the point A at the end of that vector. As I mentioned here, I'm going to, or as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you the same procedure using our joints interface. So going back to the welcome tab, if we hit import, here in our list we find the user.pendulum model, hit the check, and that will re return us to our blank model. So the joints interface actually combines multiple of the fundamental components that we were defining earlier using our classic interface into a single uh, step for their creation. So collapse the classic panel and open joints. And the first one we will create is our revolute joint, which is analogous to the frame that we just created. So this is step 2B. We're going to create a revolute joint named E. So the frame gets the same name as we saw earlier. And We'll have it about the z-axis of the base frame, or the inertial frame, and I'm going to give it an initial value of 1. Much like before, we can see in the background it created the purple frame with unit vectors E sub x and E sub y. Next, what we'll do is create a prismatic joint. I'm going to have this be of constant value rather than a degree of freedom. And we are going to have it be evaluated in, in the reference frame. Apologies. Reference frame E, the created frame from the revolute joint. And we're going to have a x value of 1, much like the length that we previously defined. 
So we can see now on the diagram view um, almost exactly the same uh, configuration as we saw defining in the classic interface, but in this case only requiring two steps because a lot of those were combined and automated in the joint interface. So next thing, uh, with the kinematics already created, what I'll do is I'll create my point mass. So starting with, we'll actually go back into the classic interface, create a, a parameter named M with a value of one and the description of mass. So a constant mass with value of one and then open the bodies panel. And that was step seven, by the way. And this being step eight, we will create the particle. We'll call this particle Bob for the pendulum Bob. And in the, it will be located at the point A and it will have mass M. So there you have all the model creation steps. So the, the last few things are just kind of post-processing of the model. So to start with, we can simulate by tapping, tapping the uh, triangular button or the play button in the lower left. Have to tap it a few times to go through the different stages, but once we get through there, we can see our nice pendulum rotating back and forth with a period of about three seconds. And what we can do is export the model I won't go too deep into this, but it'll create a model that can be imported uh, into Momdyne. It'll create a simulation file, a spreadsheet of the data points from the simulation, and a Python file, which can be executed on a desktop. So hit check to create those files. And then the last thing I'll show you is our report tab. Here on the, the ABC um, tab, we have the constants, generalized coordinates, and generalized speeds. So these are the symbolic parameters. The second tab, we have the frames. So we can see down here the created frame E with the direction cosine matrix. Created points. So we create the point A. We can see the R vector to that point expressed in the inertial frame and likewise the velocity of that point. Our particle or our our bodies uh, are on our fourth tab are just our particle bob. We don't have any loads, so nothing on this tab. But then on equations of motion, this is just a single degree of freedom, so we uh, don't have matrices, so to speak. But we have our mass matrix, uh, which would be multiplied by omega dot, or the angular acceleration, and that would equal our forcing, uh, which is the forcing due to gravity. And then finally, we have the plot tab where we can see in the top right kind of a distorted sine wave. And then uh, below it, we have the generalized speed, which is the angular, uh, angular rate, which is really the derivative of the time derivative of the plot on top. So there you have it. Uh, as you can see, that's a fairly simple process to create the pendulum in Momdyne. I hope that you will... Uh, Use this tutorial and uh, further expand on it to create your own models, uh, such as a double or triple pendulum or varying the length or the mass of the pendulum and see the effects. Uh, please follow Momdyne on Facebook, check out our website, check out our YouTube page. I'll be posting there and I hope that you will also download the app. Thank you and have a great day.